The Constitutional Convention began on May 25th, 1787. One of the first orders of business was to, first of all, to select uh, someone to chair the convention, uh, whose title would be president of the convention. And that was a no-brainer. Everyone knew it would be George Washington. So they established uh, Washington as president of the convention, and then they turned to the business of establishing rules for the convention. One rule was that they deliberated in secrecy, which was remarkable. Imagine that in today's demands for transparency, but I think it's a wonderful rule for them, one we ought to use more, because it was a license to be stupid, to offer dumb ideas, or take a chance on an idea you're not sure of, because maybe a dumb idea triggers somebody else's good idea. And it allowed for a candid exchange of views. The other th rule that I found terribly important is no decision was final. So they kept coming back to the same issues over and over. And that's very important because let's say you do the set up your legislative branch and then you go to start talking about the president. And you're talking about the president and you realize, oh my goodness, we screwed that up with the president. The, his term is too long, it's too short, it's too, too blue, it's too green. So you have to go back and fix it. And this gave them the right to do that. Every successful meeting that has an agenda has an agenda maker. And at the Philadelphia Convention, the agenda was the Virginia Plan, and the agenda maker was James Madison. That set the tone for the next two months at the Philadelphia Convention. I think Madison states his purpose in the Federalists, in fact, his part in the founding, um, probably best in Federalist 39 when he says that the American people, people who fought the revolution, won't settle for anything less than a Republican form of government. So we have to look at this new constitution and judge whether it is really a, a Republican form of government. Why a republic? Popular government is what they meant by a republic, small r. Because this is a government in which the people rule themselves, self-government. That was the goal of Madison. That was his vision more than anything else. That was his vision for America throughout his life. And he was dedicated to finding a way for the great experiment in self-government to succeed in this new land.